Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for joining in. My name is Natalia and I make videos all about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. And today we have another fashion video. It is a try-on haul with the brand Esprilia. I did want to thank them so much for sending over these clothes and being today's sponsor. So Esprilia, or Esprilia, I don't know if I'm saying it completely right, but they are an online retailer and the most comparable thing that I could think of is like a Shein type of website where they have a lot of things for really great prices and these are really good quality as well for the price that you're paying. So I was really excited when I got all these pieces and I tried them on because I definitely wanted to test them out first before sharing them with you guys. And again, I'm always honest with my reviews and everything that I share, so just know that. So yeah, I'm just excited to show you guys all of these pieces. Don't forget before we get into this video to subscribe so you can see all the videos for me. I wanted to say thank you. We hit 5,000 subscribers. I'm so thankful and so happy that I have all of you guys watching. The fact that even freaking 10 people or one person wants to subscribe and watch my videos just makes my heart so happy. So thank you so much for supporting me, you guys. I love having you over here. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I am Baby Bottles and Beauty on Instagram. Again, that's another place for us to connect. You guys can see how I style these pieces and then as well get like an everyday feel with me or more personal feel, I should say, by you know hanging out with me on stories when I do try-ons and stuff like that and just seeing how I style all the pieces and whatnot. So I'd love to have you over there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, guys, I just want to apologize ahead of time for the lighting in here. It is just not good today. It has been so gloomy and so rainy the past week. I feel like it has not been really sunny at all and I need to film some videos. So I'm sorry about that. I'm going to try to work with it on the editing side and try to brighten things up because it's just a little dark and gloomy in here today. So I'm sorry about that. But this is the very first piece. It is this really cute color block top. It has mustard, white, and um, gray. It does have functional buttons up and then as well has a functional tie, which I will show you guys. It is quite long as you can see but um, you can either tie it like that or you can do a, the bow I personally like the bow a little bit more so you don't have as much fabric hanging down um, and then it doesn't have like fitted sleeves these are sort of like a bell sleeve coming down which I think is really cute um, and they don't hit at my wrist just quite just a little bit before my wrist before my wrist it just falls right above my wrist so I like that this is what the back looks like it's not too much longer in the back um, just like a normal styled shirt. I think this one's really cute. Again, you guys know I'm obsessed with the button front and the tie front tops. So cute. And I just love how they make my body look. So this is another really cute one as well. This has the waffle stitch on it or waffle, waffle knit stitch. I think is how you say it, um, but it has that little detail as well, which is super trendy, has been, and I just love how this one looks. I went ahead and paired it with a little bralette, so you could do a little off the shoulder moment or keep it on the shoulder, but of course have your bralette peeking through right here. This is the Rue 21 Free People dupe bralette that I um, talked about on my last Rue 21 video, but yeah, that is this very first top. All right, and once again, we have another tie front top, you guys. This is, as well, waffle stitch. Can you tell? I'm a little obsessed. But this one is a really cute, like, muted light pink. Not mauve, just quite, but very muted light pink, which I think is really cute. Although it's not, like, all fall colors, it's still really cute, still long-sleeved, and I love it. The reason I was drawn in was because of the sleeves, though. They are that type of bubble sleeve um, look to them, and it has, like, that eyelet detail, which I think is really cute, but I just love how this one looks again it has the tie front which you can adjust as you want um, this one is pretty long as well but again I don't like for it to hang down too much like that which you can obviously do if you do like that but I like to tie it up here in a little bow you know mess with it make it nice whatever you want but I just thought that was really cute and this is what the back looks like once again doesn't give you a ton of coverage here in the back but it is still really cute and I went ahead and just kept on the bralette and paired that with it and you can just again let it poke out a little bit um, wear a normal bra whatever you want but this one's just really cute especially if you are in you know a state where it's not so cold this is perfect I feel so this one's really cute all right so up next we have this top of course as you can tell it is quite big on me it is a 1xl um, I forgot to mention the other two sizes everything will of course be on the screen as always but this one is just way too big on me as you can tell the sleeves are too long and it's just not the perfect fit for me however this material is really nice it's a nice sweater material it's not like crazy thick but thick enough to keep you warm especially when it's cooler outside but to make it work I would just do of course a little front tuck to give me more shape here so I could do something like that and then you know I could of course tuck the sleeves up just a little bit um, so they're not as long 
Of course, I don't think that would stay. So this one's obviously just a little bit too big for me, but I really liked the sleeve detail on here. The little ruffle sleeves I thought were really cute, and I really like this olive color for fall. So again, this one is just the slightest bit big on me. Um, I got a 1XL, and this is how it fits. Gives me a little bit of coverage in the back, but not too much. Um, but yeah, the material is great though. This one was just off on sizing. All right, so here's the next piece. As you can tell, it is still a little bit big on me as the other one was. This one I got in a 1XL as well, um, and it is just a little bit too big for me to give me like a nice shape. I feel like it might actually look better with leggings and some boots instead. Um, but as you can tell, it does come down pretty far here in the back. Actually, yeah, I feel like this one might look much better with leggings, um, but the little peplum top is stretchy, so that's nice. And then it does have the button detail here. These are functional buttons, so you can adjust those. I would definitely pull this a little bit off the shoulder here. Maybe with leggings this would look better, but because it is just so big, I feel like it's just not hitting me in the right places and not flattering my body. But again, this material is really nice. This is the waffle stitch, but it's like that fleecy blanket-like material, so it's really nice and soft and it'll keep you warm and cozy. But as you can tell, it is just the slightest bit big on me. I somehow have lost weight or inches, not really like pounds, but I've somehow lost inches everywhere. So I'm more of like a zero XL or X or zero X or XL really. No, not really a one X anymore, but um, yeah. So, I mean, this one just was a little bit big on me, but just thought I'd throw that out there. I'm always going to leave my stats pinned in the comments down below. So Check that out for like sizing references. All right, so here is the next top. I was excited for this one because I've never really brought, bought anything that was like super cropped, like a sweater like this, but I do feel like it gives me really nice shape. Um, when I look in the mirror here, I just really like how it makes my shape look. But I went ahead and kept on this bralette because it is just a little bit low cut. It has that wrap style to it. So if you can tell this part, you know, is sewn in on each side, but it gives you that wrap style feel. And then it has a band, not a band, um, a little piece of cloth that you can pull around and tie. So I went ahead and just did a little bow in the back. I feel like that's really cute and dainty. This one is just a little bit big here on the sides for me. But I felt like with a bralette, this was really cute with some knee high boots and a hat. So cute for fall. And if you wanted to also, you could layer it up with a cardigan as well. So I thought this one was really cute. It is a ribbed material, um, but it's not like super stretchy or anything like that. It's just like a normal cloth material, but it's still really nice. Not itchy at all with all these items. I didn't have like any itchiness with any of them. I always get nervous when I'm getting those types of, you know, a little more affordable clothing pieces that you just never know if they're gonna be itchy or not. So these are all really great quality, I feel, for the price that you're paying. Um, but yeah, I thought this one was just really cute. Give me some shape and it's gonna be super cute for fall. All right, so up next is this dress. This one, again, is just the slightest bit big on me, but it's really cute. It is just like a little denim chambray off the shoulder dress. This one does come with this little belt, which there are loops that you can loop it through. I just was too lazy and didn't loop it through there and just did a little tie in the front. It's just a little bit big on me up here in the, the top area. As you can tell, it's just a little bit big on me personally, but it is still really cute with these um, button details all the way down the front. These are functional, so you can go ahead and undo them. Do what you want with them <laughs> and then as well there are ties up here on the top for the off the shoulder part so you can tighten those loosen those whatever you want to do actually I feel like if I were to tighten this up here a little bit would sort of solve the bunching here because it's just a little bit big on me which is fine I'm obviously still gonna have this extra material here but this is just one that I would have to take in because it is just a little bit big on me but again still really great material it's not like super stiff I felt like with this you know these types of dresses they can sometimes be really stiff and not be be comfortable but it's a really nice denim material um, and it's not super thick or anything but it's not see-through at all this is what the back looks like as you can tell it goes down a good amount I feel like you could pair this one up even though it has this you just take your arms out of the sleeves for the little ruffles to hang down and pair it with a cardigan I feel like that would be really cute um, but yeah this is just like a simple little dress you can still wear transitioning it into fall with like a cute little fall hat some booties that would be really cute especially again if you are in a state where it's not gonna get too cold I feel like this is perfect to kind of add your own little fault twist to so that's this dress all right so the next two dresses that I have are two dresses that I picked out that you could wear as like a wedding guest because it is definitely wedding season right now and I felt like I wanted to offer you guys some pieces that are affordable you can get them and not worry about having to spend a bunch of money on a wedding guest dress so this is the very first one I was really drawn in because it is more bodycon and it's like out of my comfort zone um, but I wanted to show you guys so it is very form-fitting as you can tell um, but it is like a really stretchy material this isn't like cloth 
Um, it's just that very stretchy, I don't even know what kind of material it is, but it's extremely stretchy. So it does form to your body. It isn't super restricting or anything, but I would say if you are someone who has this as a trouble area or you want to conceal or smooth out the lumps and bumps and everything, you don't have to, obviously. That is completely a personal choice. For me personally, I feel more comfortable when everything is smoothed out. I don't feel like I have to suck in or anything like that just because I like for everything to look and lay a certain way. So for me, I am wearing my little like spank little things you know I should probably show you guys so these are from when I was pregnant they are maternity I just bought these as like little shorts to wear over all my dresses and stuff to make me feel more comfortable and smooth but they still fit my legs and then it like comes all the way up to my bust so I feel like it's perfect to smooth out any like back fat or anything so I'm just gonna show you guys they are these like little shorts that literally just come all the way up they're not super compression at all um, I'm not gonna show you that because you can see everything but um, they're like just normal shorts that just help smooth everything out they're not super compressing or anything like that but they were perfect for when I was pregnant so I'll leave them like down below for you guys as well I got them off Amazon so if you are pregnant and you want some like shorts to go under stuff I feel like they're perfect they don't roll up a bunch on my legs I can keep them down and you know just to prevent the chub rub too I feel like they're perfect so anyways I am wearing those with these however I feel like with this kind of dress because it is such stretchy material it clings to your body more and I would want something more smoothing than this so something more compressing like Spanx um, so just keep that in mind but I thought this little detail here, is this like the mermaid detail, I think? I don't know, but it is really cute with a little ruffle going down. The part that I was drawn into the most here was the top. I went ahead and just left my bralette on. You would obviously want to wear a strapless bra or a bra that doesn't have like crazy straps or anything. <laughs> but I really liked this like mesh detail with the little um, black sequins. I don't know if the light is going to pick that up as well, but the pattern is like a really... Um, pretty floral pattern with sequins which I thought was cute and this is what the back looks like so it's just on the sleeves and on the back you still have the material the only like see-through part is here on the sleeves but you do have that material going all the way up the back um, so you can sort of see little detail there and then it comes with this adjustable strap so I again have loops that I could have put it through but I didn't and I just went ahead and tied it and did a little bow in the back I thought that was cute now this one does make the booty look good so that's what's nice about the form-fitting you know aspect of this but this one's really cute I feel like it'd be so cute with some curls some little heels a little cute clutch definitely some dark lips like this for like a fall wedding love it all right so this is the very last dress this one i loved because of the sleeve detail on here so this one again i'm wearing with my bralette but you might want to wear like sticky boobs or something like that because it does come down quite a bit so you're going to be seeing whatever strap you have there and this one as well as like a chiffon material but it's actually pretty thin so you'd want to wear like a slip or something like these shorts where you won't obviously see something up here but it does cover down here so it's not completely see-through um, but it is pretty dark so you might be able to get away with like some dark underwear that are like this color or something like that but this front has a lace material it is just like your traditional little lace um you know cut out right there and then that same lace is what is on the sleeves which i think is really cute so here we have the dress as a whole it has an elastic waistband here that is super stretchy um, and it fits me pretty well i would say though if i have one thing to adjust i would want this to go down just a little bit more at my waist and not so high up because if it were to come up a little bit it could make me look like i'm a little pregnant here which it would be a good pregnancy dress but that's not what I'm going for, but it is still really cute. Um, and I, like I said, was just drawn into the sleeves here and they're not too tight on me. Thank God I have bigger arms and that's always something that I get worried about. Um, but it has a little bell sleeve detail with the chiffon and then as well has the you know lace material there, which I thought was really cute. But I thought this one would be really cute. Could even put a little belt with it with some heels, more of like a casual wedding, not so much formal. Um, but yeah, I thought this one was really cute. You could pair it with like some curls, this dark makeup would be cute. And yeah, I really like this one as well. And then this is just what the back looks like. There's nothing crazy going on here. It does come down a good length, not too short or anything like that. But yeah, I thought this one was really cute for a little fall wedding too. All right, and that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the videos from me. And don't forget, everything that I um, discussed today will be linked down below in the description box. So don't forget to check that out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.